Extremities is a senior production aimed at grade 10 to 12 learners and is in association with learning outcomes and assessment standards relating to the study of rape, human rights, ethics and personal well-being. To choose um, a play that dealt with issues of rape, human rights and violence within our current South African context seemed to me absolutely relevant. You know, if we're educating uh, young people for the real world, then they need to have some kind of insight into the dilemmas of rape and violence in our society. And so what we did is we attached into the life orientation curriculum um, a curriculum program in which they are doing research on issues of rape and uh, across the board, right from the effect on the, on the rape uh, survivor right through to the legal uh, justice department. And so the, the play Extremities becomes a case study for looking at, at these kind of issues. Did you put it on me? Yes! That's for me, just for you! Obviously, <laughs> the biggest moral dilemma is do you answer violence with violence? It's so easy to be violent um, when you're in a violent society because the instinctive reaction is to fight back. And so, so when she is violated um, by him, and manages to overpower him, her instinctive response is obviously then to violate him and, and to make him um, see himself from the other side. And ironically enough, it is only when he is treated in the same way that he has treated the women that he finally understands what it's like to be on the other side of the knife, so to speak. And that is the humanitarian aspect. That is where he realizes his, his, his own humanity and where he confesses and realizes that he is the monster that he is. My character is Marjorie and she is a little rich girl who stays at home by herself and just lounges around all day. She kind of becomes a cycle. She's referred to as the cycle from the rapist. She's very She's quite evil and manipulative. She just she wants to get she wants to get revenge. My character is Terry and she's a dignate of these two and she is a bit of an airhead. Um, she isn't particularly clever. And she, she sort of gets walked all over but by these two. You have to forget to court. And you can't just keep him here like a pet. Why are you just shut up? My character is Patricia and she's the oldest out of the three Diggs mates and, and she's a psychologist as like a sort of social worker as well and that portrays kind of her controlling sense and like the whole time she wants to fix everything and sort it out, sort it all out, put the rapist in jail, make sure Marjorie doesn't kill him. She's all about the facts. Let's hear the psychiatrist explain this sick creep animal. Exactly who the animal is here is not entirely clear to me. If I was in that, in that situation, I would have done exactly what Marjorie would have done. I wanted to get him back and just make him hurt as much as Marjorie did. If I was in that situation, I wouldn't touch him. I would run away and get him far away from him as possible and get the police and not ever see him again in my life. I'd want revenge, but I wouldn't want to get my hands dirty. I'd want to get him into jail, sort out everything, and just clean the situation up. It was very interesting to see how, in, in a real, very, very realistic way, how, because a lot of us could be in that very, yeah, such a same, yeah, it's very, we could be in that same situation, so it's very interesting to see how people can react to everything. It's very, very disturbing, very well, well portrayed. <laughs> And I think that it gives um, us as parents an opportunity to discuss what has been seen tonight um, with our daughters and uh, hopefully to prevent them landing up in a similar situation. And it was superbly relayed, the message was superbly, it was a poignant play, professionally put across and in, in trying times. I mean, we just had the recent incidents in Hillcrest and yeah, it's shocking what can happen.